very pigmented. This one, of course, is um, more sheer. But I do like it, especially, you know, for right now, I have zero color. So um, this suits me extremely well. Then last, they have a highlighter, and that is in the shade Sugar Cookie. And I did not wear this today. I just wasn't, I have no highlighter on at all. Um, just wasn't in the mood for a highlighter. So, um, the glow that you're seeing there, I'll, I'll explain. There's a reason that's there. But this is very pretty. It's not a glittery. It's very pearly, and it is extremely sheer. Um, I can't wear it here. I wouldn't say that it emphasizes my texture, but it doesn't just melt into the skin. You do notice texture. It's just not um, brought forward. It's, you just notice it. So this is something that, like, if I'm only wanting a little bit, like, maybe the top of my cupid bow or the end of my nose or the bridge or something, um, maybe a brow bone highlight, you know, uh, it's not something any, I want to put anywhere I've got texture. So, but I like it. And they all smell like cookies, vanilla cookies. So, that was a trio. They all came together. Um, there were no choices in colors. That was just the, the one thing. You could order that one trio. That was it. So, um, oh yes. Um, next, I found this on Walmart. And this is... Um, from Borghese, and this is, I write down the name of the palette. It's got a sticker, but it's really hard to read there. I'll kind of shift it around and maybe you can. Um, five Shades of Desire Eyeshadow. And then <clears throat> it's in a cardboard packaging. It's got a nice, lovely, heavy mirror that's uh, embossed with the Borghese logo. And this is an Italian makeup company. They've been around for a while and they are extremely pricey and this was clearanced out. I know it was it was under the $10 mark so I was like oh hell yeah. And they look like they might be a little bit matte these middle ones here but none of these shades are. They're all satins and shimmers. And they are beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I've used them a few times. I really, really like it. Not disappointed at all. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh yeah, my elf haul. <laughs> I've got quite a few elf items. Um, I got the Sweet 16 set, which was the um, Mist and Set and Poreless Putty Primer. I have not used those because I'm using others. So, you know. Some of the stuff I just haven't got to, but, you know, that was clearanced out. And it's two products that I like. So if you can get them at a discounted price, why not? I mean, they're not expensive to begin with, but, you know, everybody likes saving money. Oh, that just, you know, creates more to spend later. Let's see, what else did I get? Um, makeup, instant set. Oh yeah, okay. I have not used this yet either. This is the Elf Active. And um, this was in their sport line, which I don't think did very well because it's already clearanced out. And I think it was just released maybe a year ago. And the whole line's been clearanced out. So um, it's supposed to be a cooling, refreshing mist. So I plan on using this once it starts to warm up and the humidity gets a little higher and I'm craving. Oh, excuse me. I got up early this morning. My husband had oral surgery, so I had to drive him to Hopkinsville, which isn't that far from us. It's 30 minutes away. But yeah, I, I, I don't do mornings and I didn't sleep well last night. So I shipped this just. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, I haven't used this yet, but I imagine when it starts getting really humid out, I will start craving a cooling, refreshing mist. So that's why I bought it. And um, let's see, what else? Let's see, I've got an ultimate blending brush. I have one of these with a silver handle, but um, I'm not exactly sure where it is at the moment. I'm sure it's dirty. 
but these are just really great duo fiber brushes. They're great for creams. They're great with powders. They're just handy brushes, and I like this really large sized brush. It's just it's a good quality brush. I have several of these. So I'll pick up another one of those. Then the Elf Retro collection. They still had the um, let me see, glow up body brush. Yeah, that's and uh, I just liked the looks of this. Um, I've used it a couple of times with primer, but I thought that the shape might be really good if I ever, you know, attempted contours, you know, right here with my chin or chin, forehead, my cheeks, my chin, yes, uh, it needs to be done. So I just thought that, that looked, oh gosh, sorry, that the shape of this brush just looked intriguing and it is extremely soft. So and it was extremely cheap. Things that I love. Let's see, let me grab up the last of the products. Okay, so. I got um, this bronze and blush duo in St. Lucia. I've used this a couple of times. I like the bronzer a lot. The blush though is not my favorite shade. It's just so-so. I mean, it's not, doesn't look bad. I'm just not a favorite. <coughs> then I got the Elf. What's the exact name of this? Um, yeah. I don't know the, the exact line, but it's a powder blush and it's in soft rosé. And I do not like this one at all. I don't like the formula. It shows texture. It has a, um, it's a satin. So, um, like I said, it shows texture. The color's not good on me. Um, it comes off very orange instead of pinky, which is what I was expecting. So, yeah. Um, then I got this contouring eye kit. And let's see, what is the name of this one? Bronze and powder blushing eyeshadow trio in rose all day. Now, I don't know where the hell they get that from these shades. I mean, there's nothing rose about them. They're, they're brown as brown as brown can be. And that's fine. They work great. Um, and they are exactly what I want to do. I want to contour out my eyes with it. Um, I did... I didn't use this one. I used the one that I'm getting ready to talk about, but um, I use it in a very similar manner. <clears throat> I will use this middle one to carve out um, the transition in my crease. I'll put this all over the lid and then I'll deepen up the outer corner and uh, run a little bit underneath my lower lash line. Works great. Love the formula. It's silky as can be. No issues. And then lastly, out of that haul, uh, not lastly, I've got one other thing over here to the side. It's a bigger one, so I forgot about it. Um, bite size eyeshadows. Every single one of these quads that I have tried, and this is the, I can't remember if this is the seventh or the eighth quad that I've tried. It's great. I really like the color story in it. This is in Truffles, and this is the one that I used today. Uh, I used this in my crease right here. Then I deepened up the outer corner with this, and then I decided I wanted a little contrast on my lids and inner corner. So I went in with this pewter shade here. It's not a super bright silver. It's kind of a um, more medium toned gray silver. So that's why I say pewter. Uh, and then I used this as a blush on my upper lash line. So yeah, really great. You know, they're, the sparkle that you see, though, is fallout from this shade. I did not use my finger. I used a brush. And that is one thing um, with these more shimmery shades. If you don't use your finger, you will have fallout. And um, I even had a little bit of fallout with the black, but I just, you know, I used the brush and I smoothed that into my lash line. So it, 
it didn't fall down here like this this pewter shade did but yeah that's where the shine and glow comes from it's not from highlighter it's from fallout from an eyeshadow but i still like it i just didn't think things through normally i would use my finger to swipe that on i just yeah wasn't thinking i got up early and mm, never a good idea okay i gotta make it back that's what I was, you know, the last thing. It's kind of big. We're going to try and go on vacation, although it's everything that possibly can. Our AC has gone out. We're going to turn it on because one night was really humid and sticky and we were just having a hard time going to sleep. AC wouldn't come on. So we've got to call into the service. Hopefully it can be repaired. And uh, it, it went out last summer. It's just really aggravating. Our hot water heater died. Yay! And in Kentucky, those have to be installed by a licensed plumber. Yay! Yeah. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh, so I don't know if our vacation is actually going to happen or not, but um, when I bought this, it was definitely still on the table. And it's just a, this is the uh, the pouch that the Mist and Portless Putty Primer came in, and I just thought that was a good thing just to go ahead and stick in here. But as you can see, it's it's nice and roomy. It's got little pouches. It's a quilted pleather design with little handles. So, yeah, there's no outer pockets, which I kind of wish it had one outer pocket, but it's not a deal breaker. It's a good size and suits it for exactly what I needed it to do. That, if you missed my elf mini haul, that was the elf stuff. Let me make sure I got everything here. I wrote it all down so I wouldn't forget anything. Bring my, let's say, yes, 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 yes. 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 Yeah, I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up, <clears throat> something that I have really enjoyed. We have some stuff. It's yeah. I've got three little baskets with everything. The Oki Water Bomb eye patches. Got these on Amazon. They were I don't remember if they were twenty or twenty five dollars, but I believe there are sixty pairs in here. Let's see if I can. I'm not sure. It's all in Korean. Um, I'll show you what. Keep a little cap there to try and keep the moisture in. And that's yeah, it's a weird little gel consistency. And there is little extras. So I have found the tiny little extra pieces fit perfectly right in here where the 11s show up that people talk about and um the very outer corners here between all the little pieces and the actual eye patches themselves i kind of flip them and do them reverse where i've got the shorter tails all the way in my inner corners here and going out and then you know i've got the bigger doing more area out here where I've got lots of um, wrinkles and crow's feet and such. And then I'll have one little piece of the extra, I guess you'll call it, in the little circle. Um, you know, they fit in like a yin and yang kind of symbol. And there's a few extra pieces. Well, between those extra pieces, I'll put a little bit up here and right here in between my eyebrows. These things really do work great. You leave them on for 15 minutes, I believe. It's either 10 or 15 minutes. And they do great. I like them far better than any of the other eye patches that I've tried. They actually stick to your skin. Um, and they feel really, really nice. I mean, it's a silky texture that it leaves behind. It's not sticky. Um, the only complaint I would say is it's got little pieces of algae. Uh, that's part of the ingredients in it, uh, and you'll have little pieces of that. But you know, it as it rubs away as you um, massage the excess 
poo off of it once you peel them off your face. It's not a big deal. Just, just something to note. Um, okay. Then, oh yes. Yeah, a couple of disappointments. Okay. I got these both um, from Walgreens. This is the All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. <clears throat> Mine is in the shade uh, 120 Light Fair. And these, <clears throat> like the name implies, it's supposed to be comfortable to wear. Um, the coverage is okay. It's not as bad as the other that I'm getting ready to talk about. The L'Oreal True Match um, There we go. I had it on the French side. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't read it. Eye Cream in a Concealer. And mine is in the shade N1-2 Fair. Um, and this comes, look, I hate these little squeezy tube applicators. I would rather have a doe foot or a stick, um, or even like a plastic spatula or something, but yeah, don't care for squeezy tube format. This one is like putting nothing on. You put it on and it covers nothing. It, it is hydrating to a point, but it's not like you're actually putting on an eye cream. Uh, it's not that hydrating, and there's absolutely no coverage whatsoever. Doesn't even make my dark circles turn gray. It's just, it's pitiful. So that's that's a flop. Um, the All May though, it has better coverage, but it's also not nearly as hydrating. It doesn't dry my under eyes out completely, but <clears throat> if I add, which is what I typically do. Um, I usually mix two concealers. If I mix a more hydrating formula with it, with some coverage, not, not that L'Oreal disaster, like um, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus or the CoverGirl True Blend, you know, something like that. <clears throat> if I mix it with this, it, it's a better results. So not a total fail, but also, it, you know, I want a concealer that does it all in just a concealer. I just don't, I'm not finding that. All right, on to page two. <clears throat> Undone Beauty. Oh, yay. Amazon. Where is it? There it is. I love Amazon. They've spoiled me on the shipping. I get really aggravated with normal shipping times now. I expect it in two days or less. Just sorry. Okay, this is their three in one concealer. And it's not that there's three different products, it's three different types of concealer all in the same shade, which is nice. And I do like this concealer. I'm showing you. One is very sheer, um, very moisturizing, and uh, it's just doesn't do a whole lot. I'm guessing it's for one of those no makeup, makeup face kind of thing. And then the middle one is what I would say is fairly comparable to this All May. It's got better coverage, but it's not as hydrating. And then the very, well, it shows this one here is the most full coverage. Or do I have that backwards? I have that backwards. This one is the one most full coverage. This one is the one that's most sheer. It's also thicker in consistency. This one is thicker than this one. This one is the most, the thinnest consistency. Um, this one is very thick. Um, the coverage is good on it, uh, but the hydration goes down as the uh, thickness of the concealers goes up, but they're all the same tone, so you can mix and match what you need. So 
So this one doesn't quite do the job on its own. So I have found it very helpful to put some of this all over my dark spots and then I'll go back in with this more sheer one that has more moisture. And you would think that would be exactly what this one is, but it isn't. It, you somehow end up with a little better coverage. So I like it, not my favorite, but I like it. This though, I don't like. I love Undone Beauty's water bronzer. It's fabulous. It's silky, it's sheer, it stays all day. But this, every time I have used it, and this is in Rose Lit, that's the only shade they have available on Amazon, but I believe they may have other shades on Undone Beauty's website. Maybe it's Sephora, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this just looks glittery and it does not look good on my skin. I'm just really disappointed because I, I was hoping it would be like the water bronzer where it adds just the right amount of coverage and looks like you've got nothing on. But this does. And you can see actual glitter particles, you know, little pieces. It's just mm, sad, but yeah, no. And then, uh, oh, yeah. I honestly don't remember where I got this Lancome lipstick. <clears throat> but this is their shaker lipstick. As you can see, it kind of looks like a little shaker bottle, like you would do a mixed drink in. And uh, you shake it. It's a powder to cream formula. What is the color? Did I write that down? Nude Botion, number 260. You unscrew the cap. And it's a little sponge tip applicator with powder all over it and then when you apply it it instantly turns into a cream it's it's just it's bizarre but cool i really like it um the color is pretty good you know it's just a nude brown it's more on um it has a peachy undertone rather than a pink which is also fine um it's not too peachy it doesn't turn orange on me so i like it it's just kind of strange and um I don't know that it's hard to get used to. It's just unusual and I haven't quite adjusted to it yet. So I play with it. And then from uh, Amazon, I got this Pop Feel Full Cover Concealer in the shade FCO2. And I am wearing that today. And this is very full cover. This is my skin tone precisely. So it's very thick, it's a little bit oily, but that's okay as long as I don't over moisturize my under eyes. I can't, you know, it's not enough just on its own. So, cause I do have very, very dry under eyes, but <clears throat> I like it. It's uh, like I said, the skin tone is mine precisely. So it's great for the little red patches I have right here, the discolorations. Um, I like it for here. The coverage it doesn't completely take away my under eyes, but as you can see, with the under eye corrector and powder, it does a pretty good job. So I'm happy with it. And it wasn't expensive either. I really like that. Let's see, what else? Han May. <laughs> Three color rainbow isolation cream. <laughs> I'm not sure what it isolates, but uh, this is a primer. I used it today. It uh, It's a dupe, you know, it's a Korean knockoff of the Stila. <clears throat> Three color primer. I like it. It does help some with the redness. It doesn't take it completely out, but it does help to even skin tone. So, and it's a way better, I had another one by Glossiva that I also got off of Amazon. And the Glossiva stinks. I mean, it's a harsh chemical smell. This one just smells like lotion. It's, it's you know, it's got, a, it's got a fragrance, but nothing strong, nothing specific. It's just, um, it's just a soft lotion-y smell. So not terrible. Uh, Too Faced. 
Oh, I guess I bought a few things from Cute Place. I don't exactly approve of the Too Faced brand and how they market themselves and then how they deflect blame onto other things that really are the CEO and his sister's fault. <laughs> so, but um, I do like their powder or their products. So. Uh, and Georgia, my Georgia, she is my Georgia peach. So, you know, and they've got the whole peach perfect line. So, um, yeah, I bought some stuff that was clearanced out when they were having a 60% off sale. Uh, this is their Peach Perfect um, Peach Blush, Papa Don't Peach. And it is a satin blush. And it does, it's pinky orange or pinky peach, but it does have um, an orange shimmer through it. So it's Pretty, but it's not my favorite. But I love the smell, the sweet fig and peach smell. Mm. And then I also picked up the peach lip balm. Oops. And this stuff smells so freaking good. It smells like I don't like to eat them, but I like to smell them. Those peach gummy rings, they're disgusting. I can't handle them, but I love the smell. It's exactly what this smells like and the balm itself is really really nice um no complaints like i said I, all this stuff was 60 percent off it's not a all it's not a bunch of stuff um then i have the peach perfect travel size mattifying loose setting powder and i have not opened this and used it yet um just because I don't see the point in opening up one just because I have it when um, there's a bunch of others. Yeah, so the safety seal is still intact, but that's what the, the travel size would look like. It's just a miniature of what the big size is. Um, so, yeah. And then we're getting down to the end of it. Are y'all happy? Um, let's see, Too Faced, I was at, I had this on my lips today, this was on clearance at my local Walgreens, and this is Milani's Ludicrous Lip Gloss in, um, Fanny Pack, and it's a slight pink tint, it's not super opaque, so it's, I just, I like it, I like the feel of it, it's not sticky, it absorbs into your lips, so it does wear down, um, I've had it on probably about 30 minutes, and it's about halfway absorbed into my lips. So this isn't something that's going to wear for a really long time. But I, I, I still like it. It's, it's good for, especially around the house, you know, you need something on your lips, but you don't want to just stick on a, a lip balm. Lip gloss is nice. I like it. Um, let's see, what else did I find? Revlon. I found this at my local Roses and it was clearanced out. It was a dollar. Um, but this is the Revlon Powder Blush in O2 Dare to Bear. And I just thought the color was pretty. It's kind of a golden peach, which is what I tend to like. But the shimmer is intense. So I haven't used it a lot. I imagine I will in the summer when I've got just a little bit of color, as you can see from the, the redness and sun damage. This is where I tend to brown. So this is probably what I would put on top of it once I have a slight bit of color. It's really pretty, like I said, but it's, um, yeah, it's got some shimmer. It's not huge glitter flakes or anything it's just a, a shimmery formula and if i don't like it that way i can always use it as an eyeshadow so you know i'll get use out of it because i like the color um let me move some stuff over here 
Almost done. Uh, let's see. Two Faced Milani. Okay. Mercari and Ulta. Okay, Mercari. Let's do that. Two things from Glow Recipe. I've been wanting to try the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And uh, found it on Mercari. Someone had, I don't know if they've gotten it as a gift or they bought extras. I don't know. I bought it. It was cheaper than um, what I could buy on Ulta. So that's what it looks like. Have not used it yet because I do have a couple of serums already open. But I will let you know when I do. And if favorites are fails. And then I got a travel size of Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops. And I do like this. It's a, uh, show you. It's just, it sounds like it's going to be shimmery from the glow drops, but it's not. It's from um, the niacinamide and oil that's in it. And it's just, it. it's very, the, the serum itself, it dew drops, are silky feeling. It's it's really nice. And uh, there we go. So that is, you know, that's what they're talking about. It does give you, you know, almost a glass finish. Uh, it does absorb, and then the glass finish goes away. But it's really nice. It feels great on the skin. And most importantly, I didn't have an allergic reaction with it. <laughs> so. Okay, we're getting down to it. Um, I have an order from Ulta, and then I have an order from Ipsy. So let's do Ulta. And um, out of that, I have one thing that I have not used yet, and that would be the LA Girl Slim Shady Pencil in medium brown. Um, I've just, I haven't used up the brow pencil that I already have open. So, still, still waiting on that one. Uh, my little jar of Aquaphor. I've used it a couple of times. When I've gone to bed at night, my skin feels a little dry. So, I'll rub it in. That is also great for, you know, those rough patches on your feet. Oh, fruit. Excuse me. Mm. It's really good for that. Um. Slick on some of this stuff all over your feet. Put on a pair of nice, thick, warm socks. Sleep in it. Wake up with baby soft feet the next day. It's good. I like it. And better yet, I like that it's this little jar because once this empties out completely, I can just refill it from my big tube. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of jar type things but for that kind of thing where it's a really thick um almost vaseline texture i like it okay i told you all i, was, I would update you on on the lip scrubber i can't decide if i like it or not i have used it with a um i can't think an elf still stick form lip exfoliator worked fine. I used it with a sugar scrub type in a, you know, a jar um, with it. That wasn't as good. Um, it was really hard to get all the sugar crystals melted out of these little, little fiber or uh, silicone bristles. So I don't think I would use it with the sugar scrubs, but with the e.l.f. and the um, body shop one that I have that have um, small, hard, physical exfoliators in and they're not as gooey, it works okay. I will say this little finger thing on the back, you need it because it's too flimsy without having your finger in there. But then once you're done, 
it's really hard to get the sucker off your finger. <laughs> so, eh, I'm not sure. I'll keep using it just to figure out whether I like it or not. Or I won't use it at all and then I'll know I don't like it. Just not sure. Um, got this Ulta under eye brightening stick. And this one is in the shade medium to dark because the light to medium isn't quite dark enough to neutralize my under eyes. And that's what I've used. I've used the medium to dark today. As you can see, they're not nearly as grayish as they normally are. I mean, they're still there, but um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the medium to dark shade. Um, I was just putting this on and then putting concealer over it and I wasn't as happy because the orange in it was mixing with my concealer and it looked really weird. Um, then I watched a video by Smitha Deepak, Deepak, I'm not sure how you say her name, on YouTube. Um, she is a makeup artist and she was talking about um, using more orange based under eye correctors on purpley under eyes, which I have, and how she sets it very lightly with powder and then puts the concealer on top. That way the orange doesn't transfer and mix into your concealer. And definite game changer. It's it's great. I really, really like it that way. So Smith and knows her shit. Um, okay. Now lip pencils. <laughs> I have two from NYX and two from LA Girl. I have thoughts. Um, I like the shades of all of them. They're all very similar. You can see there. Um, got a couple that are a little more tawny, a couple that are a little more pinky. So, but they're all nudes, which is, you know, I'm looking for the perfect nude um, lip pencil. I've got one by W7 that I use a lot, but since my Gordman's is shut down, I don't have anywhere locally that I can buy W7. So um, I was looking for an alternative that I can get my hands on quite easily. And there is an, a, a physical Ulta store in Hopkinsville where I can always order it online. I, can, I know I can do that with W7 too, but, you know, I... I'm weird. Um, these NYX matte lip liners, suede matte, they're too dry. They tug and pull at your lips. I'm just, they're okay. I'll use them, but they're definitely um, not going to be as used as often as the LA Girls. Now these are their Ultimate Lip uh, Intense Stay Auto Liners. And I really like these. They're very creamy, but they dry down to a drier finish so they don't pull or tug when you're putting them on your lips. And they do stay in place once they dry down, which, you know, takes, you've got maybe 30 seconds to get it blended out if you're going to do that. And then they're set. And they are very, um, they're matte, but like more of a velvet matte. They're really comfortable. I do like these and I'll probably be buying more because it's a good formula. I'm just not sure that I have my perfect shade. Um, if I had to pick, I would go with the mauve one here. I like it the most. This one's just a little too brown. I prefer something with a hint of pink. So I'm looking for something not as pink as mauve here, but not as brown as, um, I forget what this one's called, nude something. Well, it's upside down. Let's see. Non-stop nude. And this is, what mauve? Um, enduring mauve. So yeah, I'm looking for something in between those two shades. So I'll find it. And these aren't expensive. I think they're maybe $3. 
So on Ulta. So that would be my Ulta purchases. Let me run down here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Under eye, slim shady. Let's see, girl. Aquaphor. Okay. And then Ipsy. Um, they have daily deals that will stay up for I think seven days and then they disappear. So they had a bundle. Let's put this to the side. Dose of colors. And you could get two lipsticks for $16. They only had these two shades. There were no shade options to pick. It was just these two. One of them was Supernatural, which I've really been wanting to wanting to try. So I think these are normally $18 anyway. They're in the old packaging. I understand that the tops have been changed out to black. So <clears throat> I don't care about that. But one shade was Supernatural and the other one was uh, Knock on Wood. I don't really care for the Knock on Wood, but I still got the Supernatural cheaper than I would have at Ulta. So I'm, I'm okay with that. My daughter wants knock on wood, so I'm going to give that one to her. It's a it's a win win. Um, just so you all know, this one is the supernatural, and this one is knock on wood. So uh, this one is a nice deep brown, and then this one is kind of a peachy brown. You all see a theme here with lipsticks in me. They they tend to be peachy brown nudes or pinky brown nudes. <laughs> Uh, the last thing I got also from an Ipsy um, deal of the day was the Hey Honey Open Your Eyes Lifting Eye Serum. And I have not used this yet. Um, I'm still using the Feel 4D Hyaluronic Acid Under Eye Serum Cream. I really like it. Um, now this is an eye serum. So... <clears throat> What that means usually is uh, serums are lighter in consistency, so it would go serum, moisturizer, and then a mask, lastly. Um, so during the day, I don't do all that. At night, sometimes I do. It just depends on my mood. Um, but that would be how that would go. And I believe that is it. I know. It doesn't... How long? I've been recording on 45 minutes now. Yeah. Um, that's 36 not individual items because, um, you know, some of these, you know, it's two and then um, the Half Cake Beauty Cream Bronzer Blush and Highlighter, you know, that was a set. So that was three things that count as one. So, um, but yeah, 36 individual purchases, I guess. I don't know how you'd put it because I had different stuff from Elf, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I got to number 36 and yeah, I got, this is, I don't know, I'll, I'll mention it. For May, I actually ordered them in April, but um, it's, it's an Ulta order. That I placed. Um, I had a gift card that I think I mentioned. I don't know. Anyway, I had um, just a little bit of money left on it, so I decided to go ahead and do up an, an old order with it. And so I got ordered these things and I received them on April 30th. So I didn't, I didn't even try them on April 30th. I mean, I might have swatched them out and that was it, just to make sure nothing was like way off where I would want to return or exchange it and nothing was but um but yeah I've already got May going because I have since tried them and have thoughts but yeah they'll be in my May even though they were technically April so that's it um now you all know my horrible shopping habit um I do have an addiction to shopping no doubt about it never tried to deny it and um yeah, that's it. I think I am done with everything to do with April now. 
and um, I did get a shipping notification today on my Glitz Glam box, so that should be here soon. So be looking for an upload. Um, I'll be getting that and trying it out and telling you what I think of it. And um, that's about it. Oh, May, Ipsy. Uh, it won't be an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is a um, Ipsy Collaboration Month where I do the $55 um, quarterly subscription and um, it's with Chloe Kardashian. Ugh. Despise the Kardashians, but if you all noticed on the May thing, I did order a Kylie Cosmetics item. I did, and I like it. <sighs> but it was on sale. It was on sale for five dollars. So for five dollars, I'm, I'm willing to try it. I don't think she'd be getting a whole lot of money off of a five dollar sale. So yeah. Anyway. Um, glam bag and Chloe, or yeah, Chloe Kardashian. Um, I don't think I'm getting any Kardashian products in it. I know you could have. And my three choice items, I wasn't real happy with what I had to choose from. It was almost upsetting because. I got three things that I'm not thrilled about that I never really wanted to begin with. One I am curious about, but yeah. And then the stuff they really, really pushed, and this is what has been upsetting me, I guess. They've really been pushing that this glam bag and Khloe Kardashian um, Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. And so far, I've watched a few YouTube videos where um, they were getting them, you know, early because they are uh, influencers. And nobody's getting this magic cream. So I don't know if it was portrayed incorrectly that that wasn't, that's just one of her favorites and not something that was going to be in the glam bag. But I'm not getting it. I'm getting 111 skin, another booster. Woohoo! I'm tired of 111 skin. I mean, they're good products, but I would like to try other brands. Um, I would like to try the Magic Cream. I haven't yet, but you know, um, I am getting a few things from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Tower 28. I can't remember the other stuff. There's I think there's eight items total. And then, of course, I added on a couple of sample things that I wanted to try. So, you know, that's it. I don't have anything else to add. I hope you all are having a great day. Stay healthy. Stay happy if you can. And I'll see you in my next video.